Today I'm going to introduce you to the art of kneading. And here I have my block of clay. Here's some recycled clay. Here I have a basic tool, a uh, fishing line, a uh, couple of buttons on either end. This is what I use to slice through. I slice through the clay in uh, wedges a centimetre or so thick and then I'm ready for my big workout. Often I'll put music on to help me keep up the rhythm and maybe a few stretching exercises to begin with. So now I have my clay laid out. Many people will just slice off a big chunk from the main block and proceed to knead it. But I do like my clay somewhat softer than average. And so I take the clay from the slot bucket and I run it through with my credit card against the table just to get out extra bubbles and to improve the consistency of the clay. And now, this clay is used together with the clay straight from the block. And uh, sometimes I add a little bit more than that, but today I'm just gonna add a little bit and start off. And I use a forward thrust to blend the clay together. And again, a little music might help, but I've just got the birds around me today, so I'm just gonna work it out. And this is a technique which I don't know if other people use, but I find particularly helpful. And I'm basically leaning forward using my body weight to press down and forward. And this helps to blend the clay and also helps to get rid of some of the air bubbles. And you can see the bubbles here that I'm working out. And I'll do that with the whole block. But for convenience, I'm just going to take this portion here and begin to show you some of the kneading techniques that you can use in the process of getting the perfect clay. It's vital to get rid of air bubbles when you're throwing on the wheel because air bubbles produce inconsistencies in the wall of your pot. And so I'm doing the, the most standard technique. This is called the bull's head technique. Can you see the like a skull of a bull's head as I'm down, pushing down and forward, down and forward down and forward. I'm not folding the clay. That would introduce more air bubbles. Now, that is the basic technique. Growing up, I had a little, as a kid, I had a little paperback which showed a different technique. And that was starting with a little point and rolling and rolling and take the point and roll down. And then when I came to the guild, everybody was doing it differently. So I have since adopted the more standard technique, which is a little ergonomically better on the body. There's no twisting. Now, when you've done this for an hour or two, no, actually for about 10 minutes, um, then you can start to thrust it down on the table. Actually, before I do that, there's a little bubble there you can see. Now, in this video, of course, I have not kneaded it for five or ten minutes, so you're probably going to see a few air bubbles, and there's one right there. And taking this pin, this tool, I pull through the clay in different places, and you can see there's a, a little bubble. When you have little uh, dots in the clay or obvious bubbles, then you know you've got a bit more work to do. And this is called wedging and it's basically
carefully throwing the clay down on the table as hard as you can. And it's important when you're kneading to start off with a clean table with no little bits of cruddies in there which are going to uh, be introduced into your clay. You want to keep it keep it really clean and you don't want any cruddies on this thing either. So always run your finger through like that and remove any little bits that will make a mess of your nice clean piece of clay. Okay, now imagine that I've done this for quite a while and I now have a nice round ball of clay. And if you happen to get a little bit of uh, clay in your mouth in the process, uh, don't worry about it because uh, apparently it's good for digestion, especially if you're an earthworm or a salamander.